19, 2021. November 19, 2021, you know you winning when you got your enemies that frustrated this early in the morning. It's almost seven o'clock in the morning. About, I got five minutes with you, about five minutes to seven o'clock in the morning. So you know you're doing something great. When you wake up and you're on your way to work and these niggas is that mad early in the morning. That's when you know they went to sleep thinking about you and they woke up and they had to remind themselves to think about you. You see, the problem is every time when we wake up, we have to remind ourselves of things that we love and things that we hate. You feel me? You literally will have to remind your pay attention to the thoughts that come in. Because half of the time, the things that you're mad about today, you constantly are reminding yourself about it every single day. So the best way to forgive somebody is it's just to forget. Yeah, you forgive and you forget. Exactly what the Bible said. Because you constantly wake up every day reminding yourself like, oh, I hate this person. Who did I hate yesterday? Oh, that was Jeffrey. You feel me? Because you are constantly on the flow and the frequency of hate. So you're constantly reminding yourself. So every time I come around, it just re reboots that system of hate. And you be like, yes, oh, yes, I remember I hate that. I can't stand him. But it's like you are reminding yourself of these things and it's wrong for you to do such a thing. You feel me? But the real message of the day was, I had to say that real quick because the noise is passing by. The real message of the day is quick. Stop seeing yourself from other people's perspective. You feel me? You have to see yourself from your own perspective. Let's just assume. Use like that bus driver who just drove by, who just came out in his business. His job right now is a bus driver, right? His part-time job, which we know for a fact that he's a, a, a stripper. And a prostitute, you feel me? That's why he behaves like that. Because he's seeing himself from other people's perspective. Just because you're a stripper doesn't necessarily mean that you have to degrade yourself because you think, because people see that kind of job. Hold on. Because people see that kind of job as something beneath them. They be like, ew, that's nasty. That's some hoish business. That's thottish and everything else like that. In other countries, that's seen as an art form. There's people in other countries that, that carry themselves with women in other countries that carry themselves with respect. Even when they prostitute, you go to Europe, there's an economy that's made for those kind of things. And these women speak and act like women without even degrading themselves to that point. You see, in America, we have looked down upon these acts for so long that if you're not in a high fancy men's club, which they do the same exact thing, by the way. You just happen to be hustling on the street corner or you just happen to be working at the local bar and everything else. But at a high club, which is men's club or any kind of club like the ones in Manhattan and these high fashion places, these women get paid a lot of money and they carry themselves with a lot of respect. You feel me? And you wouldn't even tell the difference. That's how you need to carry yourself sometimes. Although you could be a stripper, although you could be a prostitute and everything else like that, do not see it from the perspective of the society's perspective. You have to see it from a different perspective. You have to see that's an art form. The reason why I say what I say, because some of these women really carry themselves as from other people's perspective, because they use drugs, they abuse themselves. You can see, you can see they've worn themselves out. You feel me? It's like, yeah, because you've seen it from their perspective. If you see it from a perspective of what I, I'm providing a service, or this is an at form, or this is this, you have to see it from a healthy point of view. Stop looking at it from society's point of view and let society define who you are. It doesn't have to be a prostitute. And a, it could be anything. It could be the job that I'm working. People will look down upon that job and be like, he's just said he making this amount of money. That ain't nothing that I'm not looking at it from their point of view. You feel me? I'm looking at it from my point of view. Because if I look at it from their point of view, then I'll carry myself and treat myself as such. You feel me? This is the reason why you, it doesn't matter if you make a million dollars or a billion dollars. Carry yourself like you're making a million dollars or a billion dollars. You feel me? You got to walk. I'm not saying fake it. I'm just saying you carry yourself with respect. It doesn't have to be there for you to carry yourself with respect. It's like... It's like being a wife. Most people want to be a wife before somebody make them a wife. No. You have to be a wife before you become a wife. You have to walk in it before you can become it. Understand that. You feel me? 
and no weapon form against me shall prosper. It's impossible. You feel me? You have to be able to walk in a husband before you can become a husband. You gotta walk in a wife position before you can come into a wife position. You feel me? I'm just saying, like most people be like, I'm a nah, you just cause she just cause you're a girlfriend of your boyfriend doesn't mean you gotta behave like a girlfriend. No. Carry yourself like a wife. So when you become a wife, that's something you already are. You're not doing it for your boyfriend or you're not doing it for your future husband. You're doing it for you because that's something that you have to be anyway. That's a role that you already, you, are, you have already been made for to play. So you have to walk in in any way. That's why you have to carry yourself like a wife. You have to do things like, you know, wifely duties and everything else. Carry yourself with respect. Know, know when to be honest. Tell the truth. You feel me? Learn how to cook. You feel me? That's nothing. Learn how to wash dishes, you feel I me? Mean? Simple shit like that. And a husband too, you gotta learn how to ambitious. You feel me? Always looking out for the next great idea. You have to be courageous. You feel me? All these attributes of what it takes to be a wife and a husband, that's something that you gotta be walking into already and gradually you become a better person. But some people just wanna wait and like, nah man, I'm treating these bitches like hoes or nah these niggas ain't shit. I ain't gonna do no wifely duties. No, you have to walk into the Queen of England is 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 raised from ch from childbirth to be a queen you feel me she doesn't become a queen then start acting like a queen no they they walk her into the process of becoming a queen ever since she was a baby and that's how you got to treat yourself you got to treat yourself like a queen or a king it doesn't necessarily matter that you're holding this spot but this is how i treat myself and these niggas don't understand that they get mad at me and i'm like yo man i don't give a fuck what your opinion is it's how i feel about myself and how i carry myself you feel me and that's the word of the day. It's only seven minutes in recording. Bang.